Using Geospatial Information to Improve Ocean Stewardship As population and economic activity continue to grow along California's 1,100 miles of coast and ocean, California needs a more thoughtful approach to using space, protecting valuable ecosystems, and resolving conflicts among different users. Increasingly, state and local agencies and their federal counterparts are asked to make tough decisions about where to site new and expanded uses, such as energy projects, new seawalls, discharges for treated sewage, vessel traffic routes, commercial fishing, recreation, and the protection of sensitive habitats and species. Pages and pages of scientific reports and paper maps aren't always the best way to understand these complex and urgent issues. Decision makers need more efficient and visually understandable ways of interacting with the issues. State and federal agencies, universities, and other organizations have already collected in digital form large amounts of scientific and geospatial information about California's ocean and coast. However, many of the tools that California agencies use to collect, store, and manage this information are outdated and confusing. As a result, one agency's crucial planning information is often inaccessible to another, and agencies completely lack access to important science. Meanwhile, project applicants often lack the benefit of access to spatial information that would help them avoid inappropriate locations, save money, and reduce conflicts during the regulatory process. Duplication and missed opportunities are the result. The lack of ready access to information hinders California's ability to deliver timely and effective evaluation of projects that affect our ocean and coast. We can achieve better environmental and economic results if decision makers have easier and more streamlined access to information that the state and others have already collected. Extraordinary improvements in geospatial information technology have increased our ability to pool information from different sources and make it easy to access and use. These new approaches can pay for themselves in saved time and resources. They can also help simplify complex decisions and improve collaboration among public agencies and stakeholders. Here are some examples of recent applications of spatial information technology to address these problems. California's network of marine protected areas is meant to preserve biological diversity, minimize the socioeconomic impacts of regulation, and improve public access, all while using the best available science. To develop their own designs for this network, public stakeholders needed access to current physical, biological, and human use data. However, many people became frustrated with delays in manual data analysis and distrustful of work that didn't capture their ideas completely. To solve this problem, California invested in a decision support tool called MarineMap. MarineMap allowed MLPA stakeholders to draw proposals themselves, quickly run scientific and economic analysis, and provide real-time feedback to decision makers. MarineMap helped eliminate lengthy delays and misinterpretation of ideas. It also allowed stakeholders to work outside of meetings, from wherever they could access a computer and the internet. Another geospatial tool, developed by the State Water Resources Control Board and available on the internet, allows the public to view groundwater test results, well locations, and public health information. This tool uses Google Maps for an intuitive display. The information can also be downloaded to a spreadsheet for further analysis. The state has also used the Water Board's database on beach water quality to create a simple web-based tool called Safe to Swim. This tool allows users to view information about polluted water bodies through a simple point-and-click map interface combined with drop-down lists that provide access to detailed information. Each feature can be explored in greater detail. Before the Water Board developed this program, cities and counties collected water quality information in inconsistent ways and could not share data easily, even for the same geographic locations. Safe to Swim solves this information sharing problem. More importantly, it allows local agencies to analyze their data to determine whether to close a beach when water quality is bad, something many local agencies could not do efficiently before. 
Also, beachgoers can now check in advance whether their favorite beach is open or closed. These water quality tools are great examples of what we can do to make coastal and ocean decision making more accurate and more efficient. With better tools, we can promote data sharing among agencies, inform collaborative decision making, provide broader access to public data, and streamline decision making. But these examples are only a piece of what is possible. With additional effort, we can make it possible to view and access several types of ocean and coastal information, such as habitat, water quality, coastal infrastructure, existing uses, and development through a single website to better inform planning and avoid unnecessary conflicts. Now that we have seen some existing spatial analysis tools, let's briefly turn to some tools that might be possible with access to more centralized and comprehensive sources of data. For instance, a decision support tool could help identify where one activity would be compatible or incompatible with environmental protection and other activities. An important example is the siting of a wave energy project in coastal waters. A decision support tool could help agencies and developers comply with the law more quickly by helping them identify project sites and alternatives that present the least risk of environmental harm. Agencies often also need to consider proposed activities in light of what is already happening in an area. Cumulative impacts assessment and reporting could be improved by information tools that access more comprehensive data. Finally, decision support tools could help decision makers understand the potential trade-offs among economic, social, and environmental values in more visual, explicit, and transparent ways. California can use geospatial technologies that are available today to address these questions in more efficient and understandable ways. Efforts to improve California's management and sharing of geospatial information can make it all possible. You can learn more about GIS from the following sources.